bars and cages and cops. I figured you were familiar with that particular entrance. <laughs> well, they don't like us using the. The creation of the 1967 TV series Ironside brought together a talented cast that would become synonymous with this classic show. Raymond Burr, a well-known actor, was an obvious choice for the lead role of Chief Ironside. Having already gained fame for his work in Perry Mason, the producers believed he had the necessary gravitas and acting chops to pull off the complex character. For the role of Officer Eve Whitfield, the producers sought a fresh face. They found their ideal candidate in Barbara Anderson, who had previously appeared in minor roles in various TV shows. Her audition showcased her ability to bring depth and nuance to the character, and she was immediately offered the part. The casting of Detective Ed Brown was more challenging. The producers wanted an experienced African-American actor who could bring authenticity and charisma to the role. Don Mitchell, with his impressive resume and undeniable talent, was ultimately chosen for the part. The chemistry between the actors was crucial to the success of the show. During the audition process, the producers paid close attention to how well the actors played off each other. In one pivotal moment, Raymond Burr and Barbara Anderson had an instant connection during their screen test, which convinced the producers that they had found the perfect duo. Don Mitchell's audition also left a lasting impression. His natural charisma and undeniable talent made him the ideal candidate for the role of Detective Ed Brown. The producers knew that he would bring a unique energy to the show and help to create a dynamic and engaging cast. In the end, the casting of Ironside was a testament to the power of instinct and intuition. The producers had a clear vision for the show, and they were able to find the perfect actors to bring their vision to life. The result was a classic TV series that continues to captivate audiences to this day. I called your mother. She has a right to... The director of Ironside, Collier Young, brought a unique vision to this classic TV series. With a background in film noir, Young incorporated elements of this genre into Ironside, creating a distinctive style. He used sharp contrast in lighting and shadow to heighten the drama and create a sense of mystery. This approach was a departure from the typical police procedural shows of the time. Collier Young's creative influences included the hard-boiled detective novels of Dashiell Hammett and Raymond Chandler, he was also inspired by the German Expressionist films of the 1920s, which used visual symbolism to convey mood and meaning. Young's direction reflected these influences, resulting in a show that was both visually striking and intellectually engaging. In bringing Ironside to life, Young collaborated closely with the cast and crew. He worked closely with star Raymond Burr, who played the wheelchair-bound detective Robert Ironside to develop the character's complex personality. Burr's powerful performance was a key factor in the show's success. Young also worked closely with the show's writers to ensure that the scripts were tightly plotted and full of suspense. He encouraged the use of innovative camera techniques and editing to keep the audience on the edge of their seats. The result was a show that was both visually and intellectually stimulating. Collier Young's approach to directing Ironside was characterized by his attention to detail and his commitment to creating a unique and engaging viewing experience. His innovative style and creative influences helped to make Ironside a standout show of its time. Ironside is a 1967 TV series that follows a detective, Robert T. Ironside, who uses a wheelchair after being shot. The show is known for its unique perspective and high-stakes crime cases. You might be surprised to learn some funny, shocking, and sad facts about this classic. Do you remember the first time you watched Ironside? Maybe you were drawn in by the thrilling investigations or the memorable characters. For many, this show left a lasting impact. Is there a particular scene or moment in Ironside that has stayed with you? For me, it's the dedication and resilience of the main character, Robert T. Ironside, that stands out. Despite his physical limitations, he never lets it stop him from solving cases and bringing criminals to justice. As we delve deeper into this series, you'll discover fascinating behind-the-scenes stories and insights. From unexpected friendships to surprising challenges, there's so much more to Ironside than meets the eye. Perhaps you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Together, let's reminisce about this classic show and the impact it had on us all. In a minute for some time. Thank you, Commodore. One moment. You're the second person asked to see. In the late 1960s, the TV series Ironside made its mark, 
offering a unique take on police procedurals. The show's production was a fascinating process, with intriguing aspects in set design, locations, and logistical challenges. The creative team designed the sets with great detail, focusing on protagonist Robert T. Ironside's world. His office and apartment were meticulously crafted to reflect his character, a wheelchair-bound chief of detectives. The use of warm colors and textures in Ironside's apartment created a cozy atmosphere, contrasting with the cooler tones of his office, which conveyed a sense of authority. Ironside's iconic police van, custom-built for the series, was an innovative solution to the character's limited mobility. This vehicle allowed Ironside and his team to swiftly navigate San Francisco, showcasing the city's landmarks and providing a captivating backdrop for the series. Filming in San Francisco, however, came with logistical challenges. The hilly terrain and narrow streets often complicated the movement of production trucks and equipment. To minimize disruptions, the crew often filmed during off-peak hours and maintained open communication with local authorities and residents. The series also employed cutting-edge technologies for its time. The use of live sound recording instead of post-production dubbing provided a more authentic audio experience. Additionally, the show utilized a multi-camera setup, allowing for seamless scene transitions and dynamic visual storytelling. Despite the complexities, Ironside's production team managed to create a memorable and engaging television experience. The show's lasting impact on the genre is a testament to their hard work and innovation. I don't know why I did it. And then, all I know is... The classic television series, Ironside, first aired in 1967, and quickly gained popularity due to its unique storyline and talented cast. The show follows the life of Robert T. Ironside, a chief of detectives who becomes wheelchair-bound after being shot in the line of duty. Despite his disability, Ironside continues to solve crimes and lead his team with determination and wit. The show's lead actor, Raymond Burr, delivers a powerful performance as Ironside. Burr's ability to convey emotion and depth through his character is truly commendable. His co-stars, including Don Galloway, Barbara Anderson, and Don Mitchell, also give noteworthy performances and contribute to the show's success. Ironside's writing is another strength of the series. The show's writers skillfully balance drama, action, and humor, creating a compelling and entertaining viewing experience. The show's pacing is also well done, with each episode featuring a self-contained story that keeps viewers engaged from beginning to end. The production values of Ironside are also impressive for its time. The show's sets, costumes, and special effects are all well executed and add to the overall quality of the series. The use of a wheelchair as a central prop in the show is also handled with sensitivity and respect, avoiding any stereotypes or cliches. Overall, Ironside is a classic television series that continues to captivate audiences today. Its compelling storyline, talented cast, and impressive production values make it a must-watch for fans of crime dramas and television history. The iron side with a bullet in his spine. A man who should have died. Or at the very... The creation of this classic score and soundtrack was a meticulous process involving numerous talented composers and musicians. For Ironside, the task fell to Quincy Jones, a renowned figure in the music industry. Jones's approach was to craft a score that would complement the narrative and emotional tone of the series. To achieve this, Jones drew inspiration from the show's subject matter and characters. He aimed to create a sound that would reflect the gritty, urban setting of Ironside, while also capturing the intelligence and determination of the main character. The result was a score that was both dramatic and introspective, perfectly capturing the essence of this groundbreaking series. Jones's score was heavily influenced by jazz, a genre that was popular at the time, and which he had previously worked with extensively. He incorporated elements of big band and orchestral music, creating a unique sound that was both modern and timeless. The score was also notable for its use of electronic instruments, which were still a relatively new addition to the world of film and television music. The soundtrack for Ironside was equally impressive, featuring a wide range of musical styles and genres, from soul and R&B to rock, and pop, the soundtrack perfectly captured the diverse and vibrant music scene of the late 1960s. Many of the songs featured on the soundtrack became hits in their own right, further cementing the show's place in television history. The musicians who worked on the score and soundtrack for Ironside were some of the best in the business. 
Among them were saxophonist Tom Scott, trumpeter Marvin Stamm, and guitarist Eric Gale, all of whom brought their own unique talents and perspectives to the project. Together, they created a sound that was both sophisticated and accessible, appealing to both casual listeners and serious music fans. In the end, the score and soundtrack for Ironside were a testament to the power of music to enhance and enrich the film-going experience. Through their hard work and dedication, Quincy Jones and the other musicians involved were able to create a sound that perfectly complemented the narrative and emotional tone of this classic series. The result was a score and soundtrack that have stood the test of time and which continue to captivate and inspire audiences to this day. The road stepped into the underbrush and waited until the others had run past, then changed out of his track. Raymond Burr, known for his role in Perry Mason, made a seamless transition to the lead in Ironside, a groundbreaking TV series that aired from 1967 to 1975. Burr's impressive eight-year stint in Ironside followed his successful nine-year run in Perry Mason, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Although offered a third long series, Kingston Confidential, in 1976, unfavorable reviews led to its cancellation after just a few episodes. The pilot for this series was not a typical one-hour episode, but a two-hour TV movie, which aired on NBC in 1967. This format was a common practice at the time, and proved to be a successful strategy for the network, as the movie was a ratings hit. Notably, Paul Winfield, a distinguished actor who made his screen debut in an episode of Perry Mason's final season, appeared in three episodes of Ironside. Winfield's presence added to the show's impressive roster of guest stars, further solidifying its status as a classic TV series. I saw him enter the apartment. I saw him stop at Bryson's door. If you'd never seen Larkin before, how could you be positive it was he? In the groundbreaking police drama Ironside, one of the most memorable scenes occurs in the pilot episode. The camera focuses on Chief Ironside, played by Raymond Burr, as he's shot and left paralyzed from the waist down. This pivotal moment sets the stage for the entire series, showcasing Burr's powerful performance and the show's innovative direction. Cinematographer Lionel Linden masterfully captures the intensity of the scene, using close-ups to highlight Burr's facial expressions and emotions. The use of shadows adds a sense of foreboding, while the slow motion effect intensifies the impact of the gunshot. Linden later commented, We wanted to create a moment that would leave a lasting impression on the audience. Burr's portrayal of Ironside is both authentic and gripping. As he falls to the ground, his body goes limp and his face contorts in pain. Burr's ability to convey such raw emotion with just a look is a testament to his skill as an actor. He later stated, It was a challenging scene but I knew it was essential to the story. The scene has a profound impact on the audience as it establishes Ironside as a determined and resilient character. Despite his physical limitations, he remains committed to fighting crime and seeking justice. This scene sets the tone for the entire series, highlighting the show's themes of perseverance and overcoming adversity. Another iconic scene from Ironside occurs in the episode No Way Out. In this episode, Ironside and his team are trapped in a burning building and they must find a way to escape before it's too late. The camera work is intense, with quick cuts and close-ups adding to the sense of urgency. The actors' performances are also noteworthy, with each member of the team showing their own unique brand of courage and determination. Don Galloway, who plays Detective Ed Brown, later commented, It was a tough scene to shoot, but we all knew how important it was to the story. Overall, Ironside is a classic example of excellent television direction, performance, and cinematography. Its iconic scenes continue to resonate with audiences today, showcasing the show's enduring legacy and impact on the world of television. To pay that off. Four years, Chief. In the first season of Ironside, the main character can be seen using either a powered or manual wheelchair, adding variety to the show. The actor playing the role, Raymond Burr, faced an unexpected challenge while working on the series. The hot lights used for filming were positioned directly in front of him, causing slight burns to his eyes. Interestingly, Burr's role in Ironside, where he portrays a wheelchair-bound hero, is a stark contrast to his role in the 1954 film Rear Window, where he played a villain fighting against a wheelchair-bound hero. This shift in roles showcases his versatility as an actor. What do you have in mind? When we get the next one, the one with special instructions. The 1967 TV series Ironside made a significant cultural and social impact, 
resonating with audiences through its groundbreaking portrayal of a disabled police chief. The show's main character, Robert T. Ironside, played by Raymond Burr, is a detective left wheelchair bound after being shot in the line of duty. This representation was unusual for the time, as it challenged the stereotype that people with disabilities were less capable. Ironside influenced pop culture by inspiring other television shows and movies to feature characters with disabilities in complex and meaningful roles. The series also contributed to discussions on relevant social themes, such as accessibility and inclusion. For instance, the show often depicted Ironside overcoming physical barriers, which highlighted the need for improved access in public spaces. Moreover, the series resonated with audiences due to its nuanced exploration of Ironside's character. The show didn't shy away from depicting the character's struggles, but it also emphasized his resilience and determination. As a result, viewers could relate to Ironside's experiences and admire his strength. In summary, Ironside's cultural and social impact can be seen in its influence on pop culture and its contribution to discussions on relevant social themes. By portraying a disabled character in a leading role, the series challenged stereotypes and promoted a more inclusive representation of disability in media. Well, I don't have anything as much help. All right. I'm a major automobile. As the series progressed, Mark, played by Don Galloway, underwent significant career development in the show. Initially introduced as Ironside's bodyguard, he evolved into a full-fledged police officer, eventually becoming an attorney in the final season. In the 1993 television movie The Return of Ironside, he had risen to the rank of judge. The lead actor, Raymond Burr, displayed remarkable dedication to his craft. Despite being diagnosed with kidney cancer, he refused surgery to ensure he could star in his final television movies, The Return of Ironside, and Perry Mason The Case of the Killer Kiss. An interesting behind-the-scenes detail involves an injury Burr sustained during the filming of the pilot. In the opening scene, Ironside wears a bandage on his right hand. Contrary to popular belief, this was not makeup. Burr had accidentally injured the first two fingers of his hand when he fell after being shot during filming. Ironside, the groundbreaking 1967 TV series, received critical acclaim for its innovative storytelling and exceptional lead performance. The show starred Raymond Burr as Robert T. Ironside, a detective left wheelchair bound after being shot in the line of duty. The New York Times praised the series, highlighting Burr's powerful brooding performance and the tension-filled scripts. Additionally, the paper commended the show's unique perspective as a police procedural focused on a character with a disability. Audiences also responded positively to the series. Ironside became one of the top-rated shows of the 1967-1968 season with an average of 21.5 million viewers per episode. The show's success can be attributed to its compelling stories and Burr's charismatic performance, which resonated with audiences. The series received several award nominations, including four Emmy nods for Outstanding Drama Series. Burr himself was nominated for three Emmys and won twice for his portrayal of Ironside. These accolades are a testament to the quality of the series and the impact it had on television. Moreover, the show's success paved the way for more diverse representation on television. Ironside proved that a character with a disability could carry a successful primetime series, challenging industry norms, and inspiring future inclusive programming. In conclusion, Ironside's critical reception and awards speak to the show's enduring quality and impact. The series not only entertained audiences but also broke new ground in television storytelling and representation. Upstairs. In the groundbreaking TV series Ironside, Raymond Burr faced significant physical challenges as he spent extended periods in a wheelchair, which took a toll on his body beyond his character's eye injuries. Meanwhile, actress Dana Winter made two appearances on the show, playing different characters, and later portrayed Ironside's wife in the 1993 TV movie. The show's influence even reached the popular 1960s secret agent comedy Get Smart, which spoofed Ironside with a wheelchair-bound chaos agent named Leadside portrayed by Ronald Long. This classic television series left a lasting impact, inspiring parodies, and making a significant mark in the world of television. To, to a movie. Tomlicek enters the study. Jace quarrels with him. During the filming of this classic, actor Raymond Burr, who played the lead role of Chief Ironside, was known for his kindness 
and consideration towards the crew. If a scene required him to eat, he would often share his meal with the camera operators and sound technicians. The show's creator, Collier Young, had an interesting connection to the series. He was previously married to actress Ida Lupino, who directed several episodes of Ironside. Their collaboration added a unique dynamic to the production. Barbara Anderson, who played the role of Officer Eve Whitfield, was once surprised by a practical joke on set. The crew filled her police car with popcorn, which she discovered when she returned from a break. Anderson's laughter echoed through the studio, lightening the mood. In one episode, a scene called for a car to crash through a window. The stunt driver miscalculated and ended up crashing into the set, destroying part of it. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but the production had to be temporarily halted for repairs. Despite such mishaps, the cast and crew maintained a positive atmosphere. They often gathered during breaks, sharing stories and laughter. These moments of camaraderie contributed to the show's warm and engaging tone. Confined to a wheelchair in the series, Burr faced challenges during filming. To maintain realism, he insisted on performing his own wheelchair stunts. His determination and resilience earned him respect from the crew and added authenticity to his character. In conclusion, the making of Ironside was filled with light-hearted moments, challenges, and displays of dedication from the cast and crew. These experiences added depth and richness to this timeless series. Promised him the one thing he couldn't turn down, a rendezvous. There he was in bungalow. In the TV series Ironside, the main character, Ed, had a notable history in the Marines before becoming a police officer. However, the show experienced a significant change when Barbara Anderson, a key cast member, left after the 1970-1971 season due to a contract dispute. The departure of Anderson undoubtedly altered the dynamic of the show. In an unexpected move, NBC canceled Ironside in 1975 without airing the last three episodes The Organizer, The Rolling Y, and A Matter of Life or Death. These episodes were eventually aired in syndication, but their initial omission was a surprise to both the cast and the audience. The cancellation of the series brought an abrupt end to a show that had captured the attention of many viewers. Ironside on the firing range. Pick up extension 139. Ironside, the 1967 TV series, holds a significant place in film history as a pioneer in the police procedural genre. This classic introduced a new perspective on crime solving by featuring a lead character, Robert T. Ironside, who is a detective confined to a wheelchair after being shot in the line of duty. The show's innovative approach challenged traditional portrayals of authority figures on television. The groundbreaking representation of disability in Ironside contributed to the normalization of diverse characters in mainstream media. The series' success demonstrated that stories about individuals with disabilities could resonate with a broad audience, paving the way for more inclusive casting and storytelling in future filmmaking. Ironside's impact is evident in various subsequent works, such as the 2013 reboot of the series, which aimed to update the original concept for a modern audience. Additionally, other television shows and films featuring lead characters with disabilities, like The Sessions and Speechless, can trace their roots back to Ironside's groundbreaking portrayal. Moreover, Ironside's influence extends beyond on-screen representation. The series' compelling storytelling and memorable characters have inspired numerous writers and filmmakers, encouraging them to create complex and intriguing narratives that challenge societal norms and expectations. In summary, Ironside's lasting legacy lies in its bold portrayal of disability, its influence on inclusive casting and storytelling, and its inspiration for future filmmakers and writers. By pushing boundaries and challenging conventions, this classic TV series has left an indelible mark on the world of film and television. A psychologist. Do you see an indication of homicidal tendencies in any of these works? In the early episodes of this classic television series, the main character and his team were often seen driving around in a modified 1944 Ford one-ton police van. However, during the second season, they replaced it with a Ford Econolin van. The show's lead actor, Raymond Burr, faced eye strain from constantly looking upwards while seated in his wheelchair on the set. Despite this challenge, Burr delivered memorable performances, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. He is best known for his starring roles in both Perry Mason and Ironside, two iconic television series that showcased his versatile acting skills. The character of Ironside, with his unique perspective and determination, resonated with viewers and left a mark in television history. Three pieces this morning. Wow, he must have taken a beating to sell that fast. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, my man is nervous. In the interior set of Ironside's office, we find a piece of television history with a past life in Alfred Hitchcock's drama Morning. This set, which was used as one of the locations robbed in the film, became a part of Universal Studio Tour in the 1970s. The main character of this classic series, Ironside, played by Raymond Burr, shares the same first name as Burr's longtime partner, Robert Benavides. Benavides was also a producer on the show, adding another layer of personal connection to the series. Ironside was an early stepping stone in the career of Stephen Bochco, who would later become one of the most successful television producers of the 1980s and 1990s. Bochco was hired to write extra scenes for the first six episodes, which were initially too short. However, Bochco's skepticism about the show's longevity did not sit well with executive producer Frank Price, leading to a strained relationship between the two. Mation. Pertinent to a crime is second only to participate. The distinctive theme music of this classic television series, Ironside, was composed by Quincy Jones, marking one of his first high-profile assignments. This music has become synonymous with the show and its memorable characters. Raymond Burr, who played the lead role in Ironside, was joined by three of his former castmates from Perry Mason. Barbara Hale, Wesley Lau, and Richard Anderson all made appearances on the show, adding to its star power and continuity. As of 2021, Barbara Anderson is the last surviving cast member of Ironside. Her enduring presence in the industry is a testament to the lasting impact of this classic television series. Throughout its run, Ironside featured many notable guest stars and recurring characters, contributing to its rich tapestry of storytelling. The show's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, thanks in part to its talented cast and memorable theme music. Cassier gives you credit for being proficient in Spanish, now is that enough? In the late 1960s, Ironside premiered on television screens, presenting a unique take on crime solving through its central character, a detective confined to a wheelchair. This classic series not only showcased compelling storylines, but also served as a stepping stone for other productions. A couple of episodes from the show acted as pilots for Sarge and Amy Prentice, two short-lived series that followed. Sarge aired in 1971, featuring a tough sergeant from the Los Angeles Police Department, while Amy Prentice debuted in 1974, focusing on a young policewoman who becomes the first female inspector in San Francisco. Ironside's influence extended beyond its primary storyline, contributing to the development of these spin-offs and providing a platform for new characters and narratives to emerge. Mile an hour wind. What can walk up and down the sides of a glass and stainless steel building? In the groundbreaking TV series Ironside, the main character, Robert T. Ironside, is a detective who uses a wheelchair. Here's a tragic fact. The actor who played Ironside, Raymond Burr, was inspired to take on the role after a personal experience. His close friend and fractured Peace co-star, Bestie Drake, was in a car accident that left her paralyzed from the waist down. This event had a profound impact on Burr, leading him to embrace the opportunity to play Ironside and bring attention to the capabilities of people with disabilities. This classic series not only delivered engaging stories but also challenged perceptions and stereotypes. The legacy of Ironside continues to resonate today. Lies before that. When I said I couldn't account for an hour, you said one rotten hour that could have... Did Ironside leave a lasting impression on you? This classic TV series, which first aired in 1967, broke boundaries with its portrayal of a wheelchair using detective. We'd love to hear about your experiences and memories related to this groundbreaking show. How did Ironside influence your perspective on cinema, or perhaps even your own life? Maybe you were inspired by the determined character, or found the storyline particularly engaging. Whatever your connection may be, we'd love to hear from you. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and share this post to keep the conversation going. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel for more cinematic explorations. Let's reminisce about this influential series together.